Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to read a story called The Snowy Day. By Zachary Zach Keats. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. There's Peter looking out the window. It's the snow. The snow had fallen. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. And there's the snow piled up, making a path for him to walk. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sunk into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. So he's making footprints. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks, and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. See this tracks there, right there? It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking the snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. And there's the snow, plopped on his head. And then you see Peter walking on, making tracks again. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight. But he knew he wasn't old enough, not yet. You see the kids? In a snowball fight, and Peter's not old enough yet to join in. He made a smiley snowman, and he made angels. And so there's the snowman. And then there's his angels, snow angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. And he goes climbing up and going down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet clothes, socks. And there he is, packing up a snow ball to put in his pocket. And then he's home with his mother. And he thought and thought and thought about them. He's taking a bath, thinking about his day. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. So the snowball had melted. And so he went to bed feeling very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, he dreamed his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. So 
that's his dream with the sun. They had melted all the snow. And then he woke up and there it was. It was snowing again. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. And there he is with his friend in all that beautiful snow. The end. All right, thank you. And I will be seeing you guys very soon again with another story. Have a good day. Bye.